America for their Dash for Cash weekend. Um, this video will be covering Sunday. Um, we're racing in the Novox class. Uh, again, we we pay for the high roller entry fee. So if we happen to win the event, we will be put into the top bulb class, which uh, will pay $7,500 to win. Um, so really excited for the weekend. Uh, had some luck on Friday night, not so much on Saturday. So we'll see what we can't do on Sunday. like he's leaving in second gear get out on pretty far um dialed fairly honest i was 011 on the trees 022 um gave it a few rips probably not a whole lot probably is going to go dead on zero or or maybe one thou under uh took a little bit straight but that's okay um just sticking to the plan trying to be a trying to beat the right decision on the finish line today um we'll see you in round number one second entry Sunday. Um, I got this Cuda sitting next to me here. So he's dialed 616. Um, my last pass, I was 11 on the tree. The truck went five. Was gonna go 599.8. Um, probably thinking that 600 again, just because that weather has gotten a little bit worse. So I think the bullet fairly honest. Watch the wind. If I gotta get on the night, just I can. started chasing me down and dropped me a little bit at the finish line. Looks like I was only going to go 6011. The wind completely dropped out when I got in the water box. So um, looking pretty good. We'll see what we can do. Um, again, I struggling with my lights a little bit yesterday and really running the finish line yesterday. So trying to be a little honest and just figure out my lights. Um, I added a took six thou out of this button, um, the overthrow button, to try to get my lights a little bit closer. Uh, it looks looks like the 002 is, is probably my fastest light of the weekend. Um, before that, I was I was 007, so I guess if I take that 6 out, that would be 001. So right around there, I just have a 30 spot that I got to get rid of. So hopefully that 30 spot turns into a 25 spot, and uh, we can get some rounds this weekend. All right, this is round two, entry one. I was sitting on the buy at the 002 reaction time that I had, but I ended up having to race the Challenger again. Uh, super nice guy. I 
Ended up taking 6 thou back out of the button, so I'm 73008. We're dialed 601, uh, which is what we thought we were going to run the pass before. Round two, entry one. Um, I was dialed 601 to his 612. I'm 023 on the tree. Remember, I was supposed to be set up to be 008. Um, he's 050 on the tree again. Uh, we get down there. We think we're dialed pretty honest. To give it a few rips uh, to go 6013. Looks like it was going to go 6002 all out. Um, so a little bit under, a little bit quicker than we thought, but was able to get the win on that one. All right, we're moving into round two, entry two. Um, I got this little S10 pickup truck. He's uh, dialed in at 609. We're sticking with the 601 dial in again. Might be holding just a little bit, but the wind is, is kind of up and down. Um, I did add the shim back in, so I'm set back up to be 002. Um, we'll see how this one goes. Alright, so we got the win, uh, round two, entry two, uh, like I said, dialed 601 to his 609, I was 002 on the tree, just like we had set the tra uh, trans break up to be, he's 045, um, I kind of struggled to find a spot on his truck that I wanted to cross at, I kind of drove around him and back back in, which I don't normally do, but I go 6029 on the 601, he's 6094 on the 609, uh, taking 28,000 stripe uh, to take the win there. All right, this is round three, entry one. Um, unfortunately, I ended up racing the exact same truck again. I didn't like being that really close to that 002, so I decided to take that 6,000 shin back out. Um, I'm dialed 601. Uh, it's pretty, I get fairly honest. Looks like we we're gonna go 601 the last pass. Uh, the truck's been really, really consistent after adding a little bit of fuel to it from Saturday. Um, the dialed 601, Again, trying to be fairly honest, he's dialed 609, so it looks like we're going to have a, a pretty straight race, just like the last, last round. Unfortunately, we lost uh, entry one, round three. Uh, I'm 034 on the tree. I was set to be 008. Uh, this is where my 30 spot comes in. For whatever reason, I like to sit on the tree and hesitate just a little bit. And uh, something I'm trying to work on and, and, and improve on this year, but something I'm working through. So he's 038 on the tree. There's some room there. Um, I'm dead on with a 6, 6016 on the 601. He's dead on with a 1, 6091 on the 609. We lose that by 001. Not a round I'm super proud of. Obviously, I missed the tree, 030, but still a winnable round if I would just get on the nitrous uh, and decide to take stripe there. I think you can see me searching around for the nitrous button a little bit. we got to move that placement a little bit closer and, and get used to getting on the nitrous to take the stripe. Uh, our last remaining entry, uh, I've added back in the, the shim, so I'm set up to be 002, just going to be aggressive on the tree the rest of the day. 
Uh, we've dialed 602, so based off the last pass, we're holding about 4th Dow. Um, the wind kind of dies down here, but uh, I'm racing a blue Nova running 739. Um, going to just basically try to spot drop that couple foul that I think I might be holding or drive the finish line as close as I can. Got the win there, the second entry, round three. Um, 013 to 024. Uh, the truck slowed up actually a little bit. Looks like it was only going to go 6026 all out. Um, I decided to give it a few little rips to go 6040 to get behind. Um, luckily, he broke out by 5,000, taking 13,000 stripe. I think this is one of my luckier rounds of the day. So moving on to round four with the last remaining entry. All right, round four, um, I got Winkle in the really badass wagon. Uh, we had a really close matchup on Friday night uh, where he got the best of us. Um, we dialed in at 603, he dialed in at 707. So um, we're holding just a little bit from the last pass. Again, not really sure why the truck's slowing down, but want to make sure we can cover the cover the finish line without, not, without holding too much since uh, we really hadn't been driving the strike too well. So. Got the win in round four. Um, I'm 022 to his 031. Uh, I rip it a few times to take the stride by 003 to be dead on with a four. So we're on 6034 on the 603. He's two thou under. Um, looks like the truck was going to go 6020. Um, so bouncing around a little bit, but kind of settling in on that 602. All right, moving into round number five. Um, racing with Jeff Dickey. Uh, we raced uh, a few times over the weekend, really cool guy, um, super down to earth. Uh, we are dialed in at 6.03, uh, so holding about 100. He's dialed in at 5.73, but like I said, we've raced a few times this weekend, so I have a pretty good feel of what the race should look like, and we're confident to, to hold just a little bit here to A bit of a scary ride at the finish line there. Um, as you can probably tell, ripped a few times, and uh, on the last rip, the pedal kind of went to the side of the mechanical stop and hung the throttle wide open. Um, of course, I panicked a little bit. I probably should have just shut the engine off, but instead, I put it in neutral and, and tested the high side ship. Uh, it got it shut down pretty quick, obviously, made the corner. There was uh, no damage to the vehicle, um, so that's all really good news. Uh, could have ended up a lot worse, but um, I was 003 on the tree. Uh, he missed it. He's 050. Um, I gave it a few rips. I uh, really didn't want to get the stripe back, but I really covered up what I was holding. Uh, I go 6047, taking 32,000 stripe. He's dead on too, um, but we did get the win there. All right, this is round number six. This is the semifinal of No Box. Um, the winner of No Box gets put into the box class, which is $10,000 to win. Um, I'm racing Ross here, who 
is still in in the box class as well. Um, dialed 603, which is fairly honest from our last pass, is what it looks like. Um, again, the wind's been kind of up and down, which is, I think, making the truck not super consistent. the win there in the semifinal round we're moving into the finals of no box uh i'm 009 on the tree he's 011 the truck lost the hundredth on the 60 foot and a hundredth at 330 um i actually ended up spraying a little bit there at the finish line i don't know that i really picked up too much but um did pick up a mile an hour there uh, i think i sprayed right when he was dropping just a little bit so i uh, got the win there took 007 strike i'm um, 6038 on the 603 um, he's 626.4 on the 625, so just a really, really good matchup. All right, here's the final round of no box. I'm um, up against Chris Livingood. Uh, he had been really, really stellar on the tree all day long. Uh, despite me being double on the last pass, I do not get lane choice because he's 003. Um, I've ran the right lane just a few times here. The right lane seems to be a little different. Don't have a really good idea of, of why, but the 60 foot does seem to be faster here. So um, with the 60 foot slowing down the last pass, I decided to dial up to 606, um, hold a couple here, and hopefully just drive the finish line really well. Unfortunately, we turned it red in the final there. Um, I'm 018 red, which I really didn't feel. Um, you can maybe see in the video though, I was a little worked up. I was a little worked up about the dial ins, probably a little worked up about holding the holding the couple hundreds as well. So um, I don't remember the last time I've gone red in the final round, which is a little disappointing. And it's it's always a horrible feeling going red. But uh, Chris is stellar again, 009 on the tree. Um, he ends up going into Super Pro and uh, winning the entire event off the bottom pole. So that's really good. Um, I think he was uh, very deserving of, of winning. I mean, he was flat nasty. I think his worst light was against me being 009. So um, had a great time at Mid-America. Um, had a long drive home, didn't get home till 5.30 in the morning, had to go back to work at 7.30. So uh, it was a rough, rough night, rough day, but um, a really good weekend uh, and super, super happy to have the opportunity to go out and go racing and um thanks to the the harpers for putting on this race and, and mid america for a uh, good facility good track uh, can't wait to to come back again thanks for watching guys remember to go over to cramsyinnovations.com to see all the products we have for sale um, especially the overthrow trans brake button that you've seen me use all day um, in this video we got a couple accessories for it as well that you can find there. We got the quick shims, the overthrow universal mount, and the electrical cover. Um, also, don't forget to check out our winner's blog where we highlight um, those racers that have won using our products. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel as we look forward to posting more videos.